Hello everybody. When I click, I get a keyboard here and I type hi. Okay. And when I click OK, the letter hi came. Let's get started with this. The wiring connection is here. I zoom in to see and uh, the other one. I am using FTDI and connect this side to the computer. After connecting FTDI to the computer, I am opening the NextGen editor. If anybody doesn't know how to install NextGen editor and make a simple program, then it's available here. And click file, new, uh, give a name, I give key, enter. Orient, uh, this is the one I'm using. Okay. Okay. Re orientation, I'm taking horizontal. Uh, first of all, we create a font tool, font generator, and make it a bit bigger. And uh, name, I give key, generate font. Save. Okay. Yes. That's done. We click close. Uh, take a text and uh, keep it somewhere here. Make it a bit bigger and uh, for the text uh, v scope we we'll make it to global and uh, key we take the full quality and uh, ok uh, for the background color i change it to uh, any color i take this one and uh, for the text size maximum is 10 we we'll make it to 20 and um, whatever the text value uh, make it uh, we clear it okay now we take a button keep it here we change the button text to uh, I type it okay maybe capital O okay and uh, for the button release event we click this one button release event we type uh, print s at t0.txt comma 20 now print h f f that's all we can click save so what is what is happening is whenever this button have clicked whatever the value here will be transferred the 20 character there we put maximum 20 this is the end character now compile and see for any errors and debug for how it works there and click this one and uh, click high okay the high came when we click okay the high will be transferred when we put here it's h i n f f that's here uh, now we can close we can upload the code upload and uh, auto search we can keep it and go and uh, if it's slow i will fast forward the video That's okay. Let's see the keyboard. Touch here. This is the keyboard. Okay. Now we remove the FTDI. Connect the display to STM32 like this. The wiring connections here. Let's zoom and see. Now I have opened the QBIDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install QBIDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Click File, New, STM32 Project. Select the board selector. Type F446RE. This is the one. Click Next. Uh, for the project name, I put a key. Finish. Yes. Now we can click connectivity, select USART4 and mode asynchronous, uh, configuration parameter setting, uh, board rate has to be 9600 and uh, NVIC setting, tick. That's all the setting. We can click save. For simplicity, I have given the code in my website. The link is in the description below. Let's go there. This is the one. When we go below, the diagram Q by D setting is here. Uh, user code begin includes, we have to copy and paste only this line. Copy and go there. 
uh, it's here we paste it there and uh, user code begin zero we copy from here until here just before and zero we go to user code begin zero it's here we paste it and finally uh, user code begin to we copy and paste this line only we can save uh, what's happening is in the when we start the program we receive one byte at a time one character and in the interrupt callback uh, we check for the UART if it is 4 if it is the FF uh, if it is not FF we put the data if it is 0 uh, we reset it to 0 and we clear all the uh, buffer otherwise we include one by one and then we call the interrupt again we can compile and see for the any errors all good now we can click the debug button the, this one and click debugger go below uh, make sure the live expression is selected click ok ok switch and uh, we select the live expression and uh, we here we put uh, uh, rx data and rx buffer rx data second one rx buffer and we make it like this and we click this one and we can see all the things Let's zoom in this side and see what happened. We have to click this button, the resume button to start. It is started. Let's click here and type hi. OK and OK. Now the H I and I came. Now type again. Delete. Type hello. OK and OK. Now hi went hello came back thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye